The latest attack on Donald Trump about this woman who claimed that they were sexually assaulted by him is outright fabrication and lies. Of course, this article right here that you read right here is from uh, uh, FoxNews.com, which, by the way, is probably the most or the least uh, biased uh, newspaper against uh, Donald Trump. But anyhow, um, now, the fact of it is, is the media, as you know, was against Donald Trump from the day he decided to run for office. In other words, before you even mention his platform or anything like this, they were against him. Uh, it was okay just to report on him as a, a businessman, as a uh, real estate entrepreneur, but they were against him. So my point is, is if these attacks happen to these women, why didn't they go to the media back then? Then they could have stopped Trump uh, before he got out of, out of the gates, but they didn't. They waited over a year so this was just timed and not only timed but they just uh, fabricated these evidences um, sure <laughs> they probably got paid a good bit of money by the New York Times or whatever other newspaper that first carried uh, the story and had their minute of fame so to speak but uh, I like to um, mention uh, something that's even more sinister and that is this uh, the leftists the communists uh, the media especially and the establishment is uh, focusing on Donald Trump and what he said say 11 years ago on that bus about you know woman and uh, now uh, charges that uh, these uh, women have brought forth. The fact of it is, is they've completely ignored what he stands for, what he says he'll do to the country, what needs to be uh, changed. In other words, this is the issue, not what you said or didn't say or do or didn't do years ago. But the issue at stake is our country, our very lives, our way of life. So in other words, these politicians, these newspapers, and the people that support, um, say, Paul Ryan, who is the Speaker of the House, as well as the other uh, Republican representatives in Congress, the people that support them and not Donald Trump, these people, and of course, like I said, these politicians and the media and the establishment, do not care a darn about the country. If they did, they'd say, hey, great, Donald, yes, we've got to do something about uh, these borders, we've got to control them, we've got to enforce our laws, we've got to get the criminals out of our country, we've got to build infrastructure up. I mean, the media, and uh, Paul Ryan and company are against all these things. I mean, uh, it shows you the true nature uh, when they bring up some thing that has really nothing to do with politics. You know, uh, when they focus on that instead of on uh, the issues he's bringing up. Now, uh, another case in point would be what um, Bill Clinton had done as president. They said, well, he's not running for office. That's not the point. The fact of it is, is he was president for eight years. He was governor for um, many years before that in the state of Arkansas. And look at all his sexual assault. And that was really sexual uh, assault on women. I mean, he raped them. It wasn't just a verbal thing. It was a rape. It wasn't just a kiss on the cheek it was a rape bottling of these women now another interesting th thing I found out was just like two days before maybe three days now that uh, before all this news came out 
uh, with the latest, you know, uh, woman victims of Donald Trump. I uh, saw a video of this man who used to be a long-time Democratic supporter. And now he switched to Trump. He was a supporter of Clinton. In fact, uh, he was um, what it called a uh, uh, representative in the 1996 uh, uh, election. And uh, he told a story <clears throat> when he was on stage, some big event in which Bill Clinton was at. Jesse Jackson was there too, the black uh, reverend. He was standing next to Jesse Jackson. And Jesse Jackson saw this woman in a wheelchair, and uh, apparently they were on stage, and uh, got them, uh, pushed her chair to the front of the line. And he told her, watch his hands. Watch his hands, meaning Bill Clinton's hands. Well, apparently Jesse Jackson uh, had been around Bill Clinton enough to realize that he groups, ropes women, touches their behind, touches their, their breast, whatever. And this is in public. Now this man, I don't recall his name, but who's now a big supporter of Donald Trump, said that there's all kinds of media coverage there. But then the media cut all this out. Any scenes that had his hands where they should not be, they were cut out. Uh, uh, so the point that I'm making is that uh, the media and the politicians have an agenda and the agenda is to make money the wrong way, the immoral way, uh, in a way that hurts people and nations and um, they don't care at all about good laws. And I believe that this will come back and bite them on their backside. Because now that it's brought out, you know, whether it's fabricated or not, the fact that it's brought out would make Trump focus on what Bill Clinton did in the past. And not only what Bill Clinton did, but what Hillary Clinton did to intimidate and uh, verbally attack the women that were victims of Bill Clinton. So even though she's not involved in these sex capades that Bill Clinton had years ago, she is still the person that covered up for Bill Clinton, that uh, threatened these uh, people. On one woman that was a victim of Bill Clinton, uh, quoted what uh, Hillary said, and she said uh, that she took that as a uh, threat. Um, so, yeah, she, she kept her mouth shut for many years. And of course, we know that many people died who used to work around Bill Clinton. People that normally should still be alive or died of maybe a disease rather than so many by car accidents, so many by, uh, you know, so-called suicides, things like that. Uh, there's more to that than um, what meets the eye, but of course, uh, the media never talked about that either when Bill Clinton was running for office or even now. So uh, anyhow, um, that's uh, what I want to say is that uh, this is proof that they do not care if you want good legislation, uh, uh, good laws of the land. Uh, they want their evil laws, but they can't come out and say, hey, look, we don't want uh, low unemployment. We don't want uh, safety in the streets. They can't come out and say that. So what do they do? They find some skeleton in a candidate's closet, and if he doesn't have one, they'll create one. And that's what it all comes down to. Okay, thank you for listening. Talk to you next time.